Hey everybody, Danger Gamer, coming to you guys with part two of my all-time favorite Super Nintendo game, Donkey Kong Country 3 Dixie's uh, Double Trouble. You'll figure out why it's called Double Trouble later on. Anyways, we're going for a change of pace with Skidda's Row, which is actually a snowy level. So yeah, reminds me more and more of Canada. Oh man, the music here is so freaking majestic. And it has the same effect as the, I believe the first, uh, <clears throat> that was embarrassing, but I believe the background like if you look at the sky It's blue right now, and then watch it uh, when you get over to here Turns gray. I believe that's the same effect it had as uh, the first level in Donkey Kong country in What's the world gorilla glacier gorilla glacier and the actual well, that's the world the levels name is I don't know something to do with blizzards or something like that Makes me actually want ice cream, but I, I gotta lose a little bit of weight. I'm getting the tummy from eating unhealthy, you know, college student life where I can't afford anything but either noodles or fast food. And we don't have a grocery store nearby anyway that sells ramen noodles or anything like that. So you seriously have to feed off of like McDonald's or the Bistros or A&W or Taco Time, places like that. New York Fries, Taco Time's probably the cheapest, $1.29 tacos. Which I do like tacos, but my girlfriend's not a fan of tacos. Ah, uh, yes. You know my thing that said featuring, you know, uh, Courtney? Yeah, that's my girlfriend. And she'll be joining me on more videos. Except she'll be actually going by her game name. Which is Miss Canadian Gamer to go along with my magic channel, Da, uh, da Canadian Gamer. Her name is cute. Like it... Whoa, whoa, whoa! I kept spinning there. I thought it was going to fall off or at least hit the enemy. But Dixie had nice recovery. Now a level like this doesn't really use... Um, I don't like the barrels in this game. They don't just keep rolling. But, uh, wait, what was I going to say? Uh, Kitty doesn't really have any play in snowy levels ever. Dixie's always the better one. And, oh, look, everything cleared up. Just in time for us to beat the level. Go figure. Uh, my least favorite level, probably my third least favorite level in the entire game. Uh, rats, uh, or the Squeals on Wheels one is my second, and then my first is probably Poisonous Pipeline. But yeah, this is another mill level. I'm not saying the levels are terrible, you just gotta pick your least favorite. And yeah, this is all Ellie, but if Ellie sees uh, a squeal, I believe the rats' name are, names are squeal. If they see that if she sees them in the light, then she gets terrified and runs backwards. Sometimes that can cause you to run into other enemies if you don't kill them off, cause you damage and harm. And so they'll give you barrels throughout the level where you can just fire off at them like that. I just like to bring them with me for for defensive purposes. Ah, uh, yeah. If you would have saved it, you could probably get a, a bear coin up there. See, you can't go in there now. There's a bear coin up above the. Uh, Squeal, squeal, squealer. Okay, we'll kill him off. Or check one. Oh, there's our bonus. By the way, it's in here. And then, to actually get in, you can't just step on it. You have to jump. And now we have bash the badinos, which it's not. Well, I guess in this case, you are kind of bashing them. You're using barrels. No, we're not insult bashing, by the way, guys. Or race bashing or anything like that. Bashing religion. No, don't think like that. That is not what we do on this channel. Though we will state our opinion. Well, you guys can, I can, I always state my opinion. I'm not one to, you know, lie about stuff. Oh yeah, I forgot. In this game, picking up the, the coin isn't automatic. I'm used to being automatic. Oh, darn it, we do need the barrel. I guess the trick was is to actually go up with the barrel instead of over, but over you find coin with the DK coin, so. Boom, rat bullet. I totally mistimed my jump and hit the invincible, are they called buzzers in this? I believe they're called buzzers and not zingers or anything like that. Whoa, that guy had like a super high jump. He must be on some crazy kush. Okay, I'm trying to appeal to that audience with the weed and stuff. Not my forte, never done drugs, never will do drugs. I don't know, some guy on my, um, 
uh, when I was playing WoW, I was playing my hunter. His name is Shroom Shake, okay? And funny thing is, is Shroom Shake is supposed to be, um, you, you know, at the Mario item that heals you in like the in Super Paper Mario and such. And he thought it was like Magic Mushroom Shake, and I'm like, dude, you got drugs on the brain. And apparently, he does like all kinds. He literally did shrooms before playing, and I'm like, dude, that is just harsh. Kids don't do drugs, though. There's very few kids that watch. Like Pika Pika Power, every now and, and every now and then watches. I don't know how old he is, but I believe he was still in at least high school. I believe. So, okay, that mouse was not even visible to you yet. Ah, beautiful. And anything back here hiding? No. <laughs> I like how the flag started off white though before we raised it up all the way. <laughs> Now I got Swanky Sideshow. I don't know how it, how it works out in this. Well, would you look at it? Hello, kitty. Welcome along to my all new. Okay, apparently, apparently we can't. No. Keep... Wait, head to head. I don't even know what these games are. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. They really changed this later on. I don't actually know. Um. Okay. Apparently he doesn't actually he can't scroll through this. See in the D in the Game Boy version, Cranky actually had his own mini game. So that was pretty funny. So in this game you have this, so I'm not even sure if um you get a banana bird or anything for this. Though the music in these bonuses is kind of... Doesn't really fit a bonus game, but... There we go, keep hitting them. Don't even know how many we're at. Ah, we win! Okay, let's see, do we get anything good for this or is it just gonna be lives? Okay, it's it's literally just goodies. So yeah, we don't have to do that. Anyways, let's take on the first boss, Belcha, in Belcha's barn. Are we missing Dixie? Yeah, we are missing Dixie. Okay, so this boss, he's kind of a pushover. You literally just, you know, wait for the barrels and then you throw, him, throw the bugs in his mouth. You can get him in two hits, I believe, if you don't screw up like I did. Ah, oh, the burp is so much better in this game than the... Game Boy version. It's so bad. Oh, come on! I did not hit his forehead. Okay, issue is just the timing. Oh, God, guys. I am... I am... There we go. Apparently, I shouldn't have got that, but I did. Well, actually, it's not apparently I shouldn't have got it. I shouldn't have got it in general, but then... Oh, come now it hits his teeth? There we go. Taking me a little longer to defeat this guy than I wish. And then the level order is also back to normal in this game, just to let you guys know. You guys remember how I said there was levels out of place in um, the Game Boy version? Also, the music is back to normal in this. Oh, and this actually takes a little bit longer in this. Oh, come on. I was a little too high for that. Oh, apparently it went in. Did we defeat him? No, we didn't. Like, oh, there's like a platform back there, just like, you know. So he doesn't actually die. He'll just go on a platform. And there we go. And I don't believe Cranky in this game talks to us either. Because for some reason, Cranky isn't that big of a role. Okay, and then the cannon shoots us off. But like I said uh, in the last episode, Oh yeah, and the exclamation mark on the on the world screen tells you that you beat the level. But anyways, we want to go and save our progress. There we go. And it has a banana bird. Okay. Oh wait, wait. Yeah, I forgot. We give her the banana birds. Don't know why we can't skip the dialogue when we're leaving though. Yet yeah, we can't. We they have the dialogue scrolls too fast for us to read it anyway. Anyways, that brings us to Kremwood Forest, which if you look at the map, it doesn't really look like a forest. It looks 
like a smaller area than we were just at, but apparently not. Now we have Barrel Shield Bust Up. Which I believe is like the third or fourth level. Oh yeah, and the forest music. The forest music in this is really good. Still not good as forest interlude, but oh man, is it good. Oh yeah, the monkeys that throw nuts at you. Or at least I'm hoping it's nuts and not crap. Or poop for those who don't even like to say crap. But man, I, I still can't say it around my parents and I'm... Ow. I bomb rushed that. And I'm 23 and I still like to say certain words around my family. Whoa, 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 what was that? The barrel was all weird. Went into it and went reverse mode on me. So, first official death of the game. First official death. Took us to World 2 to die. Probably won't die too often until later in the game, unless I'm stupid like that and have mistakes. Uh, let me just use the D-pad for when I climb up ropes instead of the analog stick. Sometimes the analog stick is too sensitive when climbing the rope, so that, you know, causes me issues. Okay, let's hope that barrel isn't weird. Okay, the barrel isn't glitchy this time. Okay, weird. Don't know what was up with that. Ah, buzzers. And a bear coin down there for anyone who needs them, which we do. Because we will go on a mini side quest, uh, well, it's kind of like a little side quest later on. Don't know why we can't run with barrels, though. I swear that's a glitch in this game. Okay. Scary as all believe. No! We got hit by a nut, and it didn't actually hit her head. You could clearly see the space there. Now, I believe if we go back this way... Shoot! Yeah, we need to go back this way. Had to risk the damage. Risk the beans. Risking the beans, my friends. Okay. Issue with Kitty. He's bigger. Which means... Getting past certain enemies will be a lot harder, but then luckily, you can just fall down here and get the coin. Or completely miss it and almost lose the game. Okay, and we get Dixie back up here, so that's good. Yeah, watch me hit the rat and die. But yeah, see, I went through the barrel again. Like, I turned because I was using the analog stick. Doesn't have that issue when I use the D-pad, so let me use the D-pad. Darn it. Like, even the sound effects in this game are better, and the graphics are actually really good for what year this was made. And again, I don't think Nintendo's ever really had terrible graphics. They haven't had as high power engines as the other consoles, like PlayStation and uh, Xbox. But I like Nintendo, and I always will. Darn it. A <sighs> spider. Wait, wait, what's the spider for, then? Oh, he's for the G! Okay, I'll just get... How the heck did I get hit? Did I phase through the barrel again? Whoa. Oh my lord, I don't know what was going on there. Now, I believe for this you actually need Dixie. Yeah, wait, no, there's no way you could roll over to this bonus. Did I miss coin? I think I missed coin. Remember how I said these banana games were going to get a little more difficult? Yeah, this is what I mean. Already a lot more difficult than the very first one we did, which is literally just on a rope. Apparently it was there three times in a row. And there we go! 14 seconds to spare. And I believe we actually did miss coin, so we'll probably have to backtrack and find coin. Yeah, we did miss coin. I, I thought it was there for a second, but then it was Dixie's hair, so... Okay, round two of this level. Go! Like I said, I'll probably just uh, speed up the parts where I have to go back and, you know, backtrack. Uh, see, remember that spot where we seen TNT? I believe there's actually a, a woodpecker we have to get. I forgot everything's on that side until we get to this point. Okay, I figured out the problem with my D-pad. I, I fixed it. And you know what? I'll get the bear coin again. Luckily for me, if I want to start recording after this session, uh, there's a save one around here. Do not need that, because that's just the bonus in there, though we do have to go through all these guys again. Could just, could just lose on the bonus. Whoa, could just lose on the bonus and then deal with it like that, but no. It's not how I roll. Okay, let's continue on here. Is that the area that I want? Okay, well, first things first. Kill off these darn rats. And... Okay, no. I think I hear windows out if it's really windy or something, or it's just a sound effect in the headset. No, we lost him! Oh, wait, he's right here again. Wait a minute. Can I? Okay, apparently I was too close to that to switch, but... There we go. Literally just to get through. Perfect. Let me come down here, grab that, and then we can leave. 
Sweet. So, in the next episode, we will be going to Riverside Race. Uh, we actually have to do this level twice, just to let you guys know. And why we have to is because beating the record of the level will unlock uh, the, a banana bird later on. And then we have to do it slowly to get all the bonuses and the DK coin. So anyway, see you guys next time for some more Donkey Kong Country 3.